Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about different AV cables and what the differences are and how they can be used. So, these are all of the cables that I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, the first one that I'm going to show you is probably the most basic one, which is the coax cable. Let's leave aside. This cable has two ends, little screw on connectors, and has a little small uh, wire in the middle. And what this is mainly used for is, say, connecting your cable box to the your cable provider. Um, if you, this is probably one of the oldest forms of cables and it was originally used to uh, watch TV, get TV into your house. Um, uh, pretty much every house you're going to have has this coming into the house from the telephone pole unless you live somewhere where there's no cable. But it's pretty simple, you just screw it onto one and screw it into your cable box and then screw the other end into your wall. Uh, it can also be used to connect older TVs to older devices such as a VCR. It's uh, not high quality video if you do it that way. But if you use it to connect your cable box to the wall, it provides all the high bandwidth digital uh, cable. Uh, it's also used for cable modems uh, for companies such as Comcast which uses a cable internet. Okay, so that's that cable. And the next one I'm going to talk about is your standard composite cable. The uh, yellow, red, and white. So in this cable, yellow is for video, right is for right channel audio, and yellow or uh, white is for left channel audio. This is also a non-high definition cable. It's an analog cable and it is mainly used to connect older devices and video game consoles such as the Wii which comes with this cable. Um, it's, as I said, it's not HD. Um, it's not, it doesn't get used too much anymore because of the low quality uh, signal that it provides. Now the next uh, cable I'm going to show you is S video cable. Now this is an improvement on the yellow cable. And notice I said just the yellow. This is just for video. So if you're going to use this, you're going to also need an audio cable such as this. It's just the red and the white stereo audio. So this cable provides chrominance and luminance to your TV. Um, it's also non-HD and an analog form. Um, it didn't get used too much. It was mainly used in things such as DVD players and low-quality video sources. Alright, the next cable is the component cable, which is the blue, the red, and the green. Now this is an HD cable. It is also an analog cable. So it can only handle video up to 1080i. Um, notice how this one is also just for video and you would still need the extra two for um, the audio. Uh, some cables do have the audio bundled in with it and some do not. Uh, this is used for uh, HD sources uh, that are not digital such as DVD players or some video game consoles. Okay, next cable I'm going to show you is going to be your basic HDMI cable. Now this is the latest and greatest uh, type of video cable. It provides both HD video and audio. 
uh, it's digital and pretty much any device that you buy now is going to have this whether it's a TV, a Blu-ray player, a uh, video game console it's going to have this it is uh, the most common connector nowadays because of its simplicity and the high quality that it can provide um, so it provides video up to 1080p and 7.1 channel surround sound okay there are also many different forms of HDMI this is an HDMI to an HDMI micro connector this is used on mostly mobile phones or tablets that allow you to connect your and mirror your phone screen onto your uh, HDTV there is also the HDMI mini uh, this is mainly used for uh, video cameras uh, to also uh, show your video that you've taken on your big TV now along with HDMI there's also um, digital audio now this is a fiber optic toss link cable it provides HD audio to uh, say your surround sound processor uh, it's all fiber optic this one is you can see shine it in the light you can see that um, this is only capable, however, of 5.1 surround sound. There is also another form, which is uh, coaxial digital audio, which just uses a single cable like this one. This one is meant for composite video, but it works just fine for digital coaxial audio. Uh, it can also only support 5.1 channels. And then you also have your basic stereo audio cable for connecting things like CD players to your surround sound processor. Um, there's also stereo audio cables with headphone plugs. These can be used to connect your phone to your surround sound processor. Um, now, another form of video cable is your VGA cable. This is primarily used for connecting your computer to your computer monitor, but it can also be used to connect your computer or your laptop to your TV. It is an analog cable, but it can support whatever resolution you throw at it, whether it be 1080p or even higher. It will work. This is the standard one that you'll see. It's blue. There's also many different kinds like this one, which is a 10 foot long VGA cable, which I use to connect my laptop to the TV. Now, the VGA cables do not integrate audio with them, so you would need a auxiliary cable, which has this on both ends. Now, you can use these for many different things. One example is to connect your computer to your TV for sound. Um, another option is, say, to connect your phone to your car stereo. There's many different uses for these cables. So, that is a basic overview of all these mess of cables. And I hope that helped uh, clear up some questions that you might have had, uh, what cables you needed for what. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in a comment below. But other than that, thanks for watching.